Hello folks, Edge here with the ViewSonic G Tablet. Uh, we're going to do something that I know a lot of folks have been waiting for, and that is we are going to install Clockwork Mod. So let's just uh, press home on this thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it from Classic because it just, uh, I think it'll make it a little easier for me. So we'll go to Classic, which should bring you up into this Classic Home screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect the USB connector to the side. And the way I'm installing Clockwork Mod is I'm going to do it from the internal uh, the internal memory instead of using the SD card. Now you can do this from the SD card as well, but that's not how I'm doing it. Now on my computer, I'm waiting for the for the PC to recognize the G tablet. There we go, it just did. Whoop. So let's take a look here, and uh, sorry for the shaky, well let me see if I can put this down and it'll be less shaky. Uh, there we go, not the best, but it is what it is. Alright, so, this right here is the root, okay, what the root means is that, um, for those of you that are not familiar with that term, is that uh, from the uppermost menu is where you want to be able to put these files that you get. It says recovery and update.zip. We want to copy these into the root, so we'll just copy them right into there, just like that. Took that long. <laughs> Very easy to do. So let's go right back over here and now look at the uh, G tablet. All right, so now we are looking at the G tablet again. So let's go ahead and deactivate USB transfer. We'll Disconnect from the G tablet. And now what we're going to do is we are going to reboot the G tablet. But what we're going to do is uh, let me get the top and everything a bit. Because what we're going to do is we're going to be pressing down, uh, pressing the, the volume button as we power it back on. So first let's power it off. Say goodbye to uh, the stock interface goodbye never even got a chance to know you so after it powers down what we're going to do is we're going to press the power button and the volume plus button at the same time so let's do that so we're going to press volume up and power at the same time it says recovery key detected at the top left of the screen it's very hard to see but it is there And now, it is installing. I mean, it's literally that that easy to install Clockwork Mod. Now it's booting right back up into the the stock ROM again, which we're going to let it do. And then I'm going to shut it off, and we're going to boot into Clockwork Mod. Okay, classic home. Yay. It's pretty neat, it remembers. That's a good thing. One of the things I don't like about the the, the standard uh, classic ROM or whatever that comes with the G tablet, though, is that if you leave it sitting here in the dock, it'll shut down. And it doesn't just go to sleep, it shuts down all the way. So if you want to bring it back up, you have to sit there and hold the power button, wait for it to power back up, boot back up. That's really not the best way to do things. All right, so pressing volume up, turning on power. And it says, recovery key detected. There we go, Clockwork Mod. That's how easy it is to install Clockwork Mod on the G tablet. You saw how I did it, it was super simple. Um, it's, you've, if you've seen my videos before, you've seen this screen a billion times. So as you can see, very easy to do. Now what we're gonna do, is we're going to install the latest version of TNT Lite. I'm really looking forward to this because I know that uh, there's a lot of work that goes into making these. Uh, we're going to be using TNT Lite 4.2.0. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I do remember 
and we're going to try this now, but I thought that if I connect USB directly to Clockwork Mod, we can go here to Mounts and Storage. And we can mount you um No, I don't remember how I did this before. Mount SD card, is that how I did it? We're going to find out. Well, maybe that's not it. All right. Uh, maybe it's in advance. I don't know. So I'm going through here and kind of having to remember things the way that... Uh... Nope, that's not it. All right. So let's do this the old-fashioned way. We will reboot the system. And when we reboot the system, we're going to go in and we're going to copy the new update which is the TNT Lite 4.20 directly into the root of the G tablet the same way we did with Clockwork Mod and in doing then we're gonna show us going right into TNT Lite all right, uh, activate USB transfer. Yikes. Now we're copying in the update.zip into the root. And that is what's going to actually re-image the G tablet into the TNT Lite It takes just a, I don't know, maybe about 45 seconds or so on uh, most average computers. Okay. That is done. So we'll tell it to deactivate USB transfer. We'll go ahead and hide that. We're going to disconnect the USB from the side of the G tablet. And now we're going to power down, and now I think this really is the last time we will see this interface. Because the next time it comes up into a pretty interface, we should see TNT Lite. Now everything, uh, I've used TNT Lite uh, for a long time. Uh, my, my primary G tablet uses Vegan Tab right now only because there's uh, there was a problem with the home buttons and stuff on my device. Um... I'm going to try 4.2 and see if uh, that fixes things because I'd like to definitely use the latest and greatest. I mean, the speed improvements, the new market, all that stuff is something I'm definitely after. But quite frankly, uh, the newer updates of Vegan didn't quite work very well on my tablet. So we're going to go ahead and uh, wipe data because it is a good idea to do that even though there really isn't any user data on here. That's fine. Okay, and then we're going to wipe the cache. And now, we're going to install the zip. Now, see, it says apply SD card update.zip. It just so happens that I put it in the root, so we can do that. 
and tell it, yeah, do that. So now it's, there it is, TNT Lite, version 4.20. And it is installing. It should take a bit here. Now, from reading the post there, uh, it does say that uh, it, it sometimes takes, I guess, up to three minutes when it does finally boot, it, boot up to get everything installed and running properly. So once we boot it, we're going to sit there and wait for those couple of minutes. Um, I'll leave the camera on just, just in case anything interesting is there to see or there's anything interesting to see or uh, or whatever. But for the most part, I'm at anticipating nothing unusual or out of the ordinary. I'm sorry you're able to see me there. That's again one of the one of the things about you you know shooting on a reflective screen like this. There we go. It says it is complete. So let's reboot the system and see what happens. All right, already we noticed things are different. We didn't see this pretty uh, animated Android thing going on before when we were loading up into the stock ROM, and now we do. Sorry for the background noise. I'm in a house full of kids, and uh, I've got three kids, and of course there's all their friends, and uh, you know, boyfriends, girlfriends, the whole nine yards. So typically there's a lot of stuff going on around here. Normally when I make these videos, I'm making them at night, which is why it's so quiet, but uh, it is a Sunday afternoon, Super Bowl Sunday, 3 in the afternoon, so lots of activity going on, lots of people making noise. So, it's quite possible that the three minutes they talk about takes place at this screen here. Um, but like I said, we're going to keep the camera rolling so that we get the, the very first screens coming up. Um, <laughs> I've got two minutes left uh, of uh, being able to video on this memory card before I have to uh, download everything to the computer so that I can continue to video so hopefully uh, Android comes up before that happens there we go so just like that we're in launcher Check this out, folks. Now, I don't know if I'm asking too much of my device already. I don't know if I'm supposed to leave it alone here when it first starts up, but I, uh, oh, there we go. We definitely want to get the Wi-Fi working. Automatically recognized everything very quickly. The animations are very nice. Okay. And uh, we went ahead and put in our security stuff. And we are connected. So now we are already set up at this point the only thing I need to do now is just uh, basically set up uh, my wife's Google account her widgets and all that other good stuff but there you saw how easy it is to get everything set up with the G tablet going through Clockwork Mod and then installing TNT Lite 4.20 it was that easy so for those of you who want to get an Android tablet that really has great hardware, a very nice screen, 
is fast, has good memory, very easy to mod and update and, and work with. This is definitely the one to go with. As you saw, it took me, uh, it just hit 15 minutes. So within 15 minutes, I went from the stock G tablet to using, uh, to having Clockwork Mod and TNT Lite 4.20 installed on here. And now, you know, I can, uh, you know, install my widgets if I want to have the, uh, you know, calendar widget. I have no, no, upcoming, no upcoming calendar stuff. I want to put the clock on there. There's the clock. We can move it around to wherever we want. Well, let's get rid of this. Move the clock over here. Take this Google thing and get rid of that. Put the clock in the upper left. So, there you go. It's working. It's great. Uh, now I get to do all the updates and uh, installs for my wife uh, so she will uh, be able to to use it but there you go once again um, if you like these videos please subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like them and uh, as always edge out